when can a matrix be called singular the definition is very simple it's singular if its determinant equals zero that's how simple the definition is we say that matrix a is singular if the determinant of a is equal to zero else it will be non singular if the determinant is equal to zero then singular and if the determinant is non zero then the matrix is non singular just remember this non zero non singular and needless to say we are only talking about square matrices here because only square matrices can have determinants so we can say that a square matrix is singular if its determinant is zero and non singular if its determinant is non zero we should try out a couple of examples now is this matrix a singular to know if it's singular we need to find its determinant what is the determinant of a it will be this product minus this product 1 multiplied with 8 minus 4 multiplied with 2 8 minus 8 will give us 0 the determinant of a is 0 which means that matrix a is singular determinant 0 then singular okay next matrix matrix b singular or non singular pause and try to know the answer we need to find the determinant of b it will equal 3 times 2 minus 4 times 1 6 minus 4 gives us 2 because it's non zero we can say that matrix b is non singular but why is this concept important where do we apply it we use it to find the inverse of a matrix but how to know the answer you'll have to watch the next video